in God is the power of life and death. When God says, it's your time to go, CPR, medications, doctors, technology, is not going to keep you alive. The power of life and death is in Almighty God. But in the power of the Almighty God of life and death, going to heaven or going to hell is in your power. It is your power that when you die, that where your soul goes, the power of living and the power of death is in the Almighty God, but whether you go to heaven is your power. Now you can go to heaven by the Bible saying, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Or you can reject Jesus Christ and you will go to hell by your power, by your choice, by your de rejection of Jesus Christ. You will die, and you will go to hell. Or by your believing and trusting in what Jesus Christ done, and that in only through Jesus Christ are you able to be saved, that you have put your faith and trust in Jesus. And then when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. That's your choice. Or if you have rejected Jesus and you die and you wake up in hell, that's your choice. Not God's. For the Bible says, whosoever believeth, on the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. You see, the power of death through God and the power of life through God and your destination after you die or the afterlife is based upon what you've done with Jesus Christ before you die. Now, if you die in faith and trust in Jesus, you have chosen to go to heaven through the only option that God has given us, through His Son. And if you have died, and you wake up in a place called hell, you have chosen to reject the love of God, the gift of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And it is your option. It is your choice. Where your eternal soul will spend eternity. Because the Bible says, He that has the Son, Jesus, hath 
everlasting life, you have chosen to believe the Bible account of Jesus Christ. to go to heaven. God will not force you. God will not send lightning to make you believe. It's called free will. And the Bible says that whosoever has not the Son, Jesus, shall not see life but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And that wrath of God is hell. You see, in the realm of life and death, God has that power. God has given me power to wake up this morning. God has given me power to be here and to speak to you today. God could right now say, he's done. Take my breath away and bring upon death. And you can call the fire department. You can call the ambulance. You can call the best doctors. You can send me to the best hospital. And if God says, that's it, he's dead, there's death. God said, don't be a glutton, that's the And the fact is that on April 25th, 1987, I chose to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I rejected Jesus many, many years. But I came to choose and put my faith in nothing but Jesus. That when I do die, I will go to a place called heaven because God loved me that he gave his son. He gifted the Lord Jesus Christ for a sinner that is going to die. He gave me life. He will give me death. And he has offered to all eternal life. Now eternal life is our choice, our decision. And whether heaven or hell, there's no other. There is no other. Where you go after you die is your choice or was your choice. And again, to go to heaven is by faith and belief in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. In that you have chosen. The Philippian jailer has chosen. I want that eternal life. And I acknowledge as the Ethiopian eunuch. That eternal life is in Jesus. And Jesus alone. And when they die. When that Ethiopian eunuch, that Philippian jailer died, they were absent from that body, and they went to heaven. And those of the religious, of the Pharisees, and the Sadducees, 
and those of Jesus' own hometown, of the rich man, of those who have chosen before they died, I reject Jesus. I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to do anything with Jesus. And in their death, they woke up in a place called hell. And it was their choice, not God's. You see, when a man goes to heaven, it is all by Jesus Christ. It is all by the love of God. It is the gift of God. It is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That life in heaven, life before the almighty God, came through Jesus and Jesus alone and they chose to believe they chose to have their faith without the threat of God they chose life and life is in Jesus and those that do go to hell and those that are in hell is that they have taken Jesus Christ and utterly rejected him. And when they and you reject Jesus, God will reject you. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And those that are in hell, and those that will be going to hell, it's not because of a mean, nasty God. It's not a judgmental God. No, they are in hell. And they will go to hell because they rejected all the love and all the gift the Lord Jesus Christ. God, the power of life and death, has put into us the sinner. The power. The power that after we die, the afterlife, the power is in us to go to heaven or go to hell. And to go to heaven is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth Confession is made unto salvation. That is your choice of God's love and God's gift. You chose God. And when you die, when God said, that's it, believing and trusting in Jesus Christ will get you to heaven. But while you are living and you die in rejection of Jesus Christ, you end up in a place called hell. Because it was your choice. It was you, not God, that rejected God and his love. 
The power of life and death is in God. And where you go after death is your choice. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Or you can reject the Lord Jesus Christ and die in your sin and be lost. And Jesus came to seek that which is lost. If you have never put your faith and trust solely, only on Jesus Christ, you are lost. I don't care if you went to church. I don't care what denomination you are, what denomination you are not. I don't care where your membership is. I don't care about a baptism. I don't care about you going to church. Have you put your faith in Jesus Christ alone? It's not just saying a prayer. It's faith and belief in the finished work that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. It's that simple. There is nothing else at all.